Hello everyone. Today we are presenting our paper Permutation of Air Action Segmentation via Unsupervised Frame to Segment Alignment. This is a joint work between Kwak Huitran, Ahmad Mahmood, Mohammad Ahmad, Mohammad Nofil, Anas Zafar, Andre Conan, and Mohammad Zishan Zia. The presenter is Ahmad Mahmood. Temporal action segmentation is a technique used to automatically identify and categorize different actions in videos over time. It helps computers understand and analyze videos by dividing them into meaningful segments, making it easier to recognize and interpret specific actions happening within the footage. Humans can easily understand the structure of complex procedural tasks without any kind of supervision just by observing the task. Here, we propose such an automatic approach that tackles the challenge of understanding and extracting meaningful actions and their structure from videos without relying on pre-existing annotations and labeled data. Unsupervised action segmentation eliminates the need of manual annotations while leveraging inherent patterns and visual cues, enabling the model to be adaptable across video sources and settings. A key challenge for state-of-the-art unsupervised action segmentation approaches is being resilient to changes in the order in which actions are performed across the dataset. In the first example depicted here, the installed thermostat action is the second step in the activity, whereas in the second example, it is the third step. Another challenge is that of missing actions in activity sequences. For example, the action segment fix rx filter does not appear in the first activity depicted here. Unsupervised action segmentation methods also need to distinguish between repeated instances of an action and treat them as separate segments. For example, Titan Bolt action appears several times in an activity. In this paper, we introduce a novel approach that tackles the challenge of capturing permutations in action order. Our method leverages the frame level representation the segment level representation and a frame to segment alignment module. While built to handle permutation of actions, we also observe strong performance in handling missing actions. For training, we pass frame level features to the transformer encoder, which yields the encoder feature E. We also learn a set of prototype vectors C, which act as the cluster centroids. We compute the probability of each frame belonging to a particular cluster by computing the similarity between encoder features and prototype vectors. We also pass frame level features and prototype vectors to a temporal optimal transport module to get pseudo level cluster assignment. This temporal optimal transport module assumes the fixed order of action A. We use the cross entropy loss to minimize the difference between pseudo-label cluster assignments and the predicted cluster assignments. Next, we pass the encoder features to the transformer decoder after adding position information. We also use the max and sort module which takes the frame level pseudo-labels and find the frame positions where each cluster has the maximum assignment probability. Next we sort all action frame pairs by their frame indices. The resulting temporally sorted list of actions is considered as the estimated transcript T. We use the embedding layer to compute the segment level embeddings for the transcript T. We also compute the segment level pseudo-label codes QS representing the transcript T as one hot vectors. We pass the decoder features to the prediction layer which outputs the segment level predicted codes PS which represents the probabilities that a segment in the transcript T is assigned to an action in the sequence. We compute the cross entropy loss between the segment level pseudo label codes QS and the segment level predicted codes PS. Finally, we add the frame to segment alignment module which takes the frame level features represented by E and the segment level features represented by D and perform the cross attention between both, giving us the refined frame level predictions. We also use a modified temporal optimal transport module, which takes the order from transcript T 
and computes permutation aware pseudo label codes QA, where the order is defined by transcript T. Here, we also use the cross entropy loss between the alignment level pseudo label codes QA and the alignment level predicted codes PA. Let us take a look at some experimental results. We first evaluate the performance of each component in our model. As discussed, we have three main components the frame level module, the segment level module, and the alignment level module. Using only the frame level module yields 43.1% MOF accuracy. Next, adding the segment level module on top of the frame level module obtains the MOF accuracy of 43.2%. Finally, Adding the alignment level module to refine the frame level prediction improves the performance and achieves 55.8% MOF accuracy. We also evaluate the impact of different pseudo labels for our segment level and alignment level modules. Here, we either use the fixed order transcript A or the permutation of your transcript T. Using the permutation of your transcript T for both the segment level and the alignment level module yields the best overall results. Our approach shows significant gain in performance over the state-of-the-art unsupervised action segmentation methods on major benchmark datasets, including 50 salads, YouTube instructions, breakfast, and desktop assembly. We demonstrate two videos performing the same activity, but with different action orders. At the bottom, we visualize the prediction by our model. Each color represents a distinct step. Note that our model does not use ground truth labels and these labels are used for qualitative and quantitative evaluations. Our method is able to capture the action order while predicting the segmentation close to the ground truth segmentation. Thank you for listening. Please check our paper for more information.